Hi everyone, welcome to the video. Today we are going on a road trip back to Charlottesville, Virginia, which is where we're both from. We're going to visit some family and just have some quality time. It's my brother's birthday, so we're gonna go hang out with him for that. He's gonna be 19, shout out Tyler, happy birthday. And we got B in the back here and Beamer, and we got kind of a late start today. It's almost 12 because we had some work to do this morning. We're at a house right now we had to take pictures of before we hit the road because it just sold, so we had to do a little before and after. And now we're finally caught up where we're gonna go. Bee's back there in her new bougie car seat that we got her. It's a Brit Britax, and uh, it's so much better than her old one, so much more comfortable. So I think she's gonna have a great trip back there. Are you all caught up? I'm never all caught up, but I'm, tr I'm trying. <laughs> really quick before we take off, I wanted to show you the house. It's right here, you might remember it from other videos. It took forever to sell, and actually right before it sold, we had finally decided that we're gonna move into it and flip it and live in it. And then it sold literally the same week. So we didn't end up moving into it. We stayed in our apartment, but this is it. John's doing like a full video on it with a review of our investment and everything. But I just wanted to give you a quick little peek. I was about to get on here and say, now we're really gonna hit the road, but we're actually having to make one more stop because there is a crap load of tolls on the way to Virginia and neither one of us has enough cash. So we're gonna stop really fast. I was getting ready to eat my snack here. I got some berries. John's eating a peanut butter sandwich and B already ate lunch. She's probably about to take a nap, so. That's a little pre-trip update since we keep getting delayed. Thank you. I want to eat them. I want to give you guys a little tip if you like Doritos. Um, these are vegan, the spicy sweet chili Doritos, and they're actually my favorite kind, and we didn't know they were vegan until like a year ago. We just weren't eating Doritos this whole time. So, they're delicious. I got some for John because I had to buy something to get my cash back, and he likes them a lot too. And since we're on a road trip, we have some treats going on. When you're busy growing up, know that I'm right. All right, I've been instructed to update the vlog because Rihanna is now taking her turn to drive. Tell them what we've been contemplating. Okay, Rihanna wants to tell you about our current dilemma. So, like you guys know, we don't know where we're going to be living tomorrow, much less in a year from now. But if we're considering staying in West Virginia, we need to change our living situation. An apartment with a toddler is just not working, especially not upstairs and making our neighbors really mad. <laughs> So we are torn between finding a house to rehab, which is really hard for us because we want something really modern. There's nothing really modern in the area that we currently live. So we may have to look into building, but we're also very environmentally conscious and we don't know if building is worse than rehabbing. Especially not if we build, like build something that is environmentally friendly and green. Is that better than rehabbing? I haven't looked far enough into it. I know that if you're just going to rehab a house, uh, then that's better than, than building something huge and new. But what if we build something with a small footprint? Is that on par with rehabbing? So yeah, anyway, like a huge thing for me is something modern uh, and not huge. Like a lot of the houses that we're finding that come with land right now are like three and 4,000 square feet. And that's like two times the size we need. We need maximum 2,000 square feet, but we could get away with 12 to 1,500. We need like two bedrooms, an office, and then just an open concept living room and kitchen, right? And, a and, and, a, and either a pool or a hot tub area, but just a nice outdoor living area. Something that I would really like is something full of glass that opens up from the inside and the outside. And she likes that as well, obviously. Yeah. All right, my arm is literally gonna fall off, so I can't keep holding it like okay, this. Okay, well comment below and let us know what you think because we are like, we have no idea what to do. All right, see you guys in a while. We're almost there, but we had to stop at the scenic overlook because it's so pretty here. I will show you guys a better view in just a second, but B also need to take a little break from her car seat. So John is walking around with her, showing her the overlook. Beamer had to take a pee and we're almost out of snacks. So glad we're almost there. It's been a good ride so far and Virginia's beautiful as always. Hey, point. You're eating your whole hand. Whee! <laughs> yeah! Let's go for a ride. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Go for a ride. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Let's go for a ride. <laughs> Who's here? Hi. Oh my gosh. It's Gigi. Hi. 
Beamer intercepted. Hi, baby. <laughs> All the dogs ran out. Hi. Oh. 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 Hi, sweetheart. All right, Bubba. I miss you. And I love you. Can I have a kiss? Oh. Thank you. <laughs> yes, I love you so much. Oh my gosh, I've missed you. Do you like the umbrella? <laughs> okay. Ah, bye bye. Bye bye. bye. <laughs> we made it, and I just wanted to introduce you to everybody. I feel like awkward right now because I'm, I'm vlogging in front of them, and I usually only vlog in front of John, but it's okay. So I made dinner and I packed it in the car with us. We're having tacos yeah. for the dead boy's birthday dinner. <laughs> this is my mom. This is Tyler. Happy birthday, Tyler. Okay. okay. He's five years old today. <laughs> That's Courtney. Hi. And this is Bye -bye. Bye -bye. We are currently at the lake where I grew up. So we're at the main beach, which is like the biggest beach at the lake, and it's where we used to hang out when we were teenagers, and John and I didn't know each other yet, so this is like super funny. And we're just feeling really nostalgic because we spent so much time here growing up, and it looks a lot smaller now that we're adults. <laughs> Good morning, it is the next day. We're in Charlottesville right now and we thought it would be fun to go around and see all the places we used to live. So we are currently at the first apartment. It's actually a townhouse that we ever lived in before. And it's super weird, huh? It's so different because none of these over here were built. Uh, and I think they've all sold. We lived here in 2008 to 2009. And we were like really young. I was 18, 19 and John was like 21, 22. So it was This is fun. a nice place though. Show them. So this is the first place we ever lived, and then we lived up there, and here, and here, and then finally here, and then we went to travel nursing, and that's a whole nother story of apartments. We grabbed some lunch in Charlottesville, and then we headed out, and now we're about two hours away at Falling Spring Falls, which is right on the border of Virginia and West Virginia, and it's about 30 minutes out of our way on our drive back home to Charleston, but we really wanted to see this waterfall because we've never seen it before and heard it's beautiful. So we just arrived and we're trying to find the access point down to the falls. It looks like it might rain, so I might have to switch to just my GoPro, but we're gonna head down there and see what it's all about. Baby, let your head down, be a little wilder. Baby, kick your shoes off, you don't have to hide it. Baby, let your head down. Uh, hey! Oh, hey! 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 So the reason we wanted to come here so much is to hike down to the bottom of the waterfalls and swim because there's a bunch of swimming holes and the trail is right behind the sign right here. It is actually right over there but it has been storming all day and the bottom of the falls is completely flooded. A couple just came up that had tried to go down and they said it's so flooded they just stopped and came back because there's absolutely nowhere to swim and we decided then there's no point in hiking down there so we just enjoyed the overlook. It was really nice. We're gonna have to come back this summer when it's drier out and swim, but otherwise it was beautiful and the water was really strong so that was cool. I'm sure you can even hear it in this video. We're gonna let B run around a little cause she has been in the car and then we're gonna get on our way. <laughs> Oh, somebody. Oh. Hi, it is a few days later and I went to edit my vlog and realized I didn't close it out. So I wanted to close out my little road trip vlog. Um, I wanted to kind of talk a little bit about why I don't really film that much when I'm with family. And it's mostly just because I don't have a lot of time with family. We don't get to visit them super often. So I want to focus on like family time and filming takes like a lot of concentration and focus. So that's kind of why I don't really film that much when I'm with them. They don't mind being on camera and filming with them is fun. So I do it a little bit, but I really just want to hang out with them and have like quality time. So I'm really glad that we made that trip home because the COVID numbers are starting to go up again 
and we're probably not gonna be able to travel home for a while because if I leave the state, I can't work for 14 days. And then if B leaves the state, she can't go to daycare for 14 days because there's like the self quarantine thing. So we are not gonna be able to see our family for a while. My mom works at a hospital too, so she can't come here for the same reason. And we're just glad that we got that trip in. We did follow social distancing. We wear masks in public. Um, the only people we saw was our immediate family members. And as for me, I'm currently waiting for official confirmation on my CRNA job. And when I get that, I will tell you guys all about it. So that's really exciting. Hopefully I'll be starting my job in July, fingers crossed. So I'll keep you updated on that. But other than that, I'm just gonna be hanging out, enjoying the rest of my summer before I start working, hanging out with B and John and spending as much time outside as we can. I hope you guys liked this video. It was just a little vlog style video. I like making those, it's a lot of fun. So hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below if you want. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next week. Mm -hmm.